hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to cover the getting started guide for banana pi m4 zero that how you can flash banana pi ambient 24.8.2 jemmy ubuntu operating system onto the sd card and then how you can put that sd card into banana pi m4 zero how you can plug the usb debugging cable and how you can get the ssh access everything okay so here is the banana pi m4 zero you can see on the camera okay now let's talk about the feature of this banana pi m4 zero so here we have the documentation page and here you can see the feature so you will be getting alvino h618 processor okay you will be getting 2.4 gigahertz of wi-fi with 5 gigahertz of wi-fi and bluetooth so uh, in the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, you will be only getting 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi. Okay, but in this, you will be getting 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz of Wi-Fi. So this one is the best. Okay, and then after, either you will get 2 GB of RAM or 4 GB of RAM. Okay, so we have the two variants, either 2 GB of RAM and 4 GB of RAM. Then after, either you will get 8 GB of EMMC storage or 32 GB of EMMC storage. Okay, so one more variant here. Okay, so here on the camera, you can see I have this Banana Pi M40 with 8 GB of EMMC storage. So this is the 8 GB of EMMC storage. Okay, so without using SD card, I can flash operating system onto the EMMC storage and I can directly boot this Banana Pi M40 board with the operating system flash onto the emmc storage so i don't need the sd card okay then after you will be getting two usb c ports okay one is for power and one is for otg here is the hdmi cable here is the debug pins okay so here you can see we have the debug pins okay so if you want to directly access the terminal of this banana pi m40 then you can use this debug pin to directly access terminal okay then after here we have the PC connector and here we have the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth antenna connector. Here we have the reset button. Okay. And here we have the SD card slot and we have 28 GPIO pins. Okay. Now we are going to flash the ambient operating system onto the SD card. Okay. And then we are going to start our Banana Pi M4 Zero. So for that, uh, you will require Balena Eacher software. Here I have provided the Balena Eacher software download link. So you can download the Balena Eacher software from here. And if you want to download the operating system for Banana Pi M4.0, then same, you can visit the documentation page and either you can scroll down to this page and here you will find the system image section. So if you want to flash Android operating system onto your Banana Pi M4.0, then you can download the Android operating system from here. If you want to flash ubuntu then you can download the ubuntu from here and if you want to flash the debian operating system then you can download from here okay so you can just right click open that in the new tab and here you will have the two option okay banana pi ambient 24.8.2 for the banana pi m40 and this is the ubuntu operating system okay and it's a desktop based operating system here we have the minimal operating system so you will be having only command line option okay so in this video instead of going for the desktop operating system we are going for the minimal operating system so we can directly access the command line from this debug ports okay and we will see that how you can use this debug port to get access to the terminal of the banana pi m4 zero okay so let's open the balena eacher software okay and let's plug the sd card onto the sd card reader so here i have the sd card reader okay i'm going to plug the sd card here and uh, i'll be using this to plug my sd card and yeah so we have another operating system running onto the sd card so we have to format the sd card so sd card formatter and I'm going to format my SD card. Okay, so I'll click on the format and it will erase entire data available in the SD card. Okay, format is done. Now, if you have installed the um, Balena Eacher software, okay, then you can directly open the Balena Eacher software and 
you have to download the operating system for your banana pi m40 okay so either you can go for the ubuntu operating system or you can go for the debian operating system working of both operating system will remain same okay so you don't have to worry about it right now i'm going with the ubuntu operating system and which is minimal operating system okay i have already downloaded all of the operating system here in my system and i have extracted this banana pie ambient ubuntu jemmy legacy minimal operating system and inside the folder you will be having these three files okay and this one is our main image file so we are going to flash it onto the SD card and then we will plug our SD card onto the banana pi m40 so we will select the file okay m40 okay legacy minimal and image file okay so if you see this kind of error then what you have to do is you have to close the balena eacher and then you have to launch balena eacher in the administrative mode okay now you can again select the file from here okay and you see we don't get any error after this now if you want to change the sd card then you can change the sd card from here but i'm going to leave it as it is because i have only one sd card attached with my system so we'll select that and we'll click on flash to flash this minimal operating system onto our sd card Okay, so we have successfully flashed the SD card with Ubuntu operating system. Now, you can remove the SD card from here and you can plug the SD card onto your Banana Pi M40. Okay, so we have plugged the SD card here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth antenna to my Banana Pi M40. Okay, so we have attached the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna here. Now, we want to access the terminal of this Banana Pi M40 using USB to TTL converter from this debug ports. Okay, so you have to connect this USB to TTL converter with your Banana Pi M40. Now you will be having three pins here. Okay, ground, RX and TX. So according to that, you have to connect this cable. Okay, so ground of this will connect to the ground of Banana Pi M40 rx of this will connect to the tx of the banana pi m40 okay and tx of this usb to ttl converter will connect to the rx of this banana pi m40 so let me connect okay so this is usb to ttl converter okay specifically it is known as uh, cp2102 module you can also buy it from your local market now we are going to plug this into our system okay now here is our banana pi m40 we have plugged the sd card we have attached the wi-fi and bluetooth antenna now we just have to turn on our banana pi m40 zero but before that you have to install putty in your system i have already installed putty in my system so i'm going to open this okay and we'll also open our device manager okay so here is the device manager now in the device manager once you plug your cp2102 module here you will be having one com port okay so right now i don't see any com port so i have to turn on my banana pie okay so we have turned on our banana pie now here you can see com port so it is connected to the com4 okay so this connection with my system is connected on the com4 so what i can do is i can open putty here i can click on serial instead of com1 i can put com4 in the speed i can put 11 5200 and then i can click on open and here you can see 
we are able to see what is happening inside our banana pi m4 zero so here you can see right now we are not connected with any network okay any wi-fi or any ethernet network so that's why you don't see any ip address here now once the os is successfully booted it will ask you for the root password okay to set up the root password so you can set up the root password here so i'm going to set up my root password as t double o r okay it will again ask for the root password for the confirmation so again you have to provide t double o r and here you can see create a new user account okay so if you want to create a new user account then you can go for it i don't want to create any user account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl c and i'll be inside the bash shell okay so now i can check my cpu i can check my memory i can check my fees free storage everything so uh, here is our banana pi m40 terminal okay ubuntu terminal so if you type ls here and if you will list out the directory then we don't have any directory here okay or we don't have any files here now we'll check the cpu so ls cpu okay here you can see arch 64 architecture and here is the other cpu details now we will check the uh, memory so let me clear the screen and we'll check the memory so free hyphen h and here you can see the memory details so we have the ram of 2.5 gb inside this banana pi m4 zero okay so it is far far better than the raspberry pi 02w you will be getting only 5 and 2 mb of ram in the raspberry pi 02w so in the same form factor in the same size in the same price you will be getting more memory with emmc storage and with 5g wi-fi so what else you need okay now we will check the free memory or you can say free storage of our sd card and emmc storage so df hyphen h so here you can see this is our sd card okay now the free storage or available storage for use is 55 gb now we have already connected the wi-fi and the bluetooth antenna now we want to connect our banana pi m4 zero with the wi-fi so previously i have already provided you the command at the time of banana pi m4 berry so here is the command so i can copy this command okay i can paste that command here and it will provide the available wi-fi network around me now we will try to connect with the capgemini 4g network so what i will i will do is i will copy this command i'll paste the command here and at the end i'll type capgemini underscore 4g okay and it will ask for the password of my wi-fi so i have to provide the password here okay it will take some moment to connect with the wi-fi and then after you will see device wlan0 successfully activated with some key okay so you don't have to uh, worry about this you just have to type ifconfig and here is the ip address of your uh, banana pi m40 okay and you can see the interface wlan0 so it's a wi-fi interface okay now you can connect with your banana pi m40 with this ip address as well okay so you can open new terminal here okay now i can type ssh okay the username is root for my banana pi m40 and we'll type the ip address which is 192.168.1.5 and then we will hit enter okay so there is some network issue so let us ping the device first 192.168.1.5 and uh, we are not getting any pings here okay let me ping google from this terminal so ping google.com yeah we are able to get the ping okay now let me try to ping again yeah we are getting successful ping here now we will able to uh, access this board via ssh using this ip address 
so i'm going to run the same command ssh root at the rate 192.168.1.5 okay and here you can see we have uh, the options okay are you sure you want to continue connecting yes we are sure and here it is asking for the root password for the banana pie m40 and previously we have set it to twr so you have to provide it and here you can see you are successfully logged in to the ssh terminal of banana pie m40 now you don't require this debug connections okay you can remove it because we have successfully connected this board with our wi-fi network okay and we are successfully able to connect with this board over the ssh using wireless interface so you can remove this usb to ttl converter okay and you can close the com4 connection now you can press ctrl d to log out from this terminal you can close it okay you can remove this you can also remove this three cable okay we have removed it now whatever you want to check you can check from here so ls cpu so here is your cpu detail pre hyphen h so here is your sorry here is your memory details and then after df hyphen h so here is your storage details okay so this is how you can set up your banana pi m40 in the headless mode so what you have to do is you first have to download the operating system okay for your banana pi m40 then after you have to download the balena eager you have to prepare the sd card okay you have to flash the ubuntu operating system onto your sd card and then after you can use this usb to ttl converter okay and you can connect this usb to ttl converter with your banana pi m40 you have to connect the ground pin of this connector to the ground pin of banana pi m40 rx will be connected to the tx and tx will be connected to the rx and then after you can plug it onto your system you can access the com port okay you can use putty to get the access of the terminal of the banana pi m40 and then you can create the root password okay then after you can connect this board with the wi-fi and once it is connected to the wi-fi you can access this board over the wi-fi interface and then after you don't need this okay now every time you start your board it will connect with the wi-fi and then you can access the board using ssh so i hope this is clear that how you can set up the banana pi m40 in the headless mode with ubuntu minimal operating system okay i will provide all the link of uh, system image download on our website okay so similarly for banana pi m4 berry we have provided system image link for ubuntu android and debian so here also i'm going to provide those links okay so you can directly download your ubuntu android or debian operating system from the google drive okay and here is the command to connect with the wi-fi okay and if you have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere you can also comment on this video you can also send me a mail or you can also ping me on linkedin so i hope everything is clear so let's meet in the future videos and we are going to cover so many things about the banana pi m40 board in the future videos so stay tuned and till then take care goodbye and thank you